Thanks so much for choosing Storage DCS, a more private, secure, and economical way to store and access your data. Let's get started by uploading your first object so you can start experiencing all the benefits of decentralization today. This demo will walk you through the easiest and fastest way to upload an object with Storage DCS, and that's utilizing our web-based file manager known as the Object Browser. We'll walk through the steps to sign up for an account, activate the account via the email confirmation, sign in, create an encryption passphrase, upload a file to the network, and then share that file. We're going to go ahead and start with creating an account. Now go ahead and enter your name and email address. Create a secure password and agree to the terms of service. Next, you need to activate the account by confirming your email address. Switch over to your email, open the activation email, and confirm your email address. You now automatically see the sign-in screen. Go ahead and sign in with your username and password, and you're ready to upload. Now that you're signed in, go ahead and click the shortcut to upload in browser. When you click on that option, you're acknowledging that you will be using AES-256 GCM server-side encryption. Upon clicking, an encryption passphrase will be generated. Copy that encryption passphrase and keep it in a safe place. This is very important. You will need to use this encryption passphrase every time you access the object browser to upload, move, access, and encrypt and decrypt your data. If you use a different encryption passphrase on a subsequent login, you will not be able to see the files that you have previously uploaded and thus encrypted on our highly secure network. Confirm that you have copied, pasted, saved, and or wrote this down and click next. When prompted, paste in that key. When pasted, it is shared with the browser session and now you can go ahead and create a bucket. We're going to call this bucket demo today. The bucket is the lowest level. You could call it the root of the folder for which you are going to put your objects. Objects are pictures, videos, database snapshots, chat logs, any file. To make it easy, you can drag and drop into this screen. I don't have a file ready to do that, so I'm just going to select Upload File and I'm going to go ahead and take this screenshot. As the screenshot is uploaded, you can see that it promptly encrypts, erasure codes, splits, and uploads 80 or more pieces across geographically diverse storage nodes. The size and upload date is automatically displayed in the center. A preview of the distributed object is displayed in the upper right-hand corner, and at the bottom, you can see where the file is distributed globally. Now you can download your object and or generate a share link, my favorite feature. Generating a share link allows us to demonstrate what would occur if you wanted to share this file. So we're going to go ahead and do that. You can see the geographic distribution of the file, the pieces and the size with a preview on the right hand side, and also the ability to download. Here you go, the link share. This concludes utilizing our object browser to upload and share a file. Visit our documentation for more information, more getting started videos, guides, and best practices when using Storage DCS. Thank you so much.